Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we are going to learn a charting trick that will help you get two different colors, positive and negative for area charts. Uh, now, those of you who made an area chart before, you might re recognize that this is not actually possible. Like you cannot specify two colors. Uh, it the, the formatting doesn't exist so I'm going to share a simple technique through which you can get this uh, and uh, we will go up from there so imagine you have some sort of daily sales or daily number of uh, tickets logged or whatever may be the case and you would like to monitor the absolute or percentage change from day to day so we have a change calculated here so some daily random values and I've calculated change as uh, this day minus previous day and uh, we can take the change value for example i can select the change value i'll show you what happens when you insert a, an area chart on the change value so if you if you want to put a 2d area you would get something like this so it does plot the change but the coloring is consistent there is no way to uh, kind of say that i want blue for up and uh, red for down or whatever okay one simple solution is if you don't want to go through any of this you can kind of turn this chart into a column chart so this will give you columns and select the columns press ctrl 1 to format and go to fill colors and invert if negative if this you can use this option to give two colors so i can say positive and negative and i'll get two different colors in the same chart and I assume uh, some of you might be familiar with this this technique itself. If not, you know this is in, this is actually a powerful tip uh, in itself. So you can use that for some other chart. But what if you want to deal with an area chart? So I'll just uh, uh, go back to change chart type, and we are here, and we would like to have two different colors. Uh, this is where uh, we can use a simple technique called gradient fill uh, to do that. I will show you what uh, that technique is. All you got to do is uh, select the chart, select the areas, and then instead of solid fill, we will fill it by a gradient. I have already set up the gradient, so it kind of shows like this, but I will show you what happens if you select one of the available gradients. So it will give you a coloring like this, uh, which... Uh, I think it's best if I move this so I can show you with something that is a bit more prominent so when you set up this gradient this is how it will normally look but what we will do is we will change this to a special type of a gradient that has only two distinct colors blue on one side and green or, or red on the other side the way this uh, needs to happen is it is a bit manual so if your values are wildly all over the place then you need to actually calculate this but i'll show you what happens so if you observe our per change over the days the values are going up and down but the maximum positive change is five so it's between six and four so that's five and maximum negative change is minus five so uh, the distribution of positive and negative is 50 50 half values uh, i mean the ma most that can go on the positive side and most that can go on negative side are same so it's 50 50. so what we will do is we'll select the first color this side you could imagine uh, the gradient type needs to be linear and then uh, we will select this side and uh, set that color as uh, blue okay and then uh, i'll just change this to that blue and then we'll select the midpoint the one here we will just set that to blue as well make sure that the midpoint position is at 50 percent so that's that and then end point we will set that as red now it doesn't quite cut it because the red is there but it is changing from blue to red towards the down and also the linear gradient direction is actually going from here to there so it's this 45 degrees like that we need to uh, change it to that direction so that it is going top down once you have set it up like this then add another stop somewhere here uh, just click in the white space and it will add a stop you will set that as red as well and make sure you are selecting that stop and move that position also to 50 percent 
So this will create a special kind of gradient where the, there are only two colors, blue from 0 to 50% position and red from 50% to 100% position. That's it. The, once you have done that, then your area chart with the uh, up, down, uh, different colors is really done. There are, of course, a few things to do here. One is because of the way this coloring is done, sometimes the axis is not visible. So you may want to move this axis either all the way to the top or bottom, depending on what is being presented here. For example, in our case, uh, these are daily change in sales volume. So I wanted the axis to be on the top. So you would select the axis. Again, press Control 1 to format and where it says labels instead of a, a, a label position as next to axis we will just uh, set it to high position so that the label goes all the way to the top uh, and uh, and then that would kind of make it more readable you can add, uh, also add a few other elements like you know uh, grid lines or whatever you fancy and it will all work so that's it that's the technique now you might be thinking oh Chen, this is all good but what if my spread is not so even what if i have uh, maximum negative is uh, three and maximum positive is seven so that is 70 to 30. in that case all you have to do is i'll show you what this would be so we'll change one of these values to seven so the maximum is uh, seven and uh, minimum is uh, five uh, Maybe I'll make this uh, 10. Okay. I've already uh, kind of limited the axis to stop at 6. So I will just uh, reset the axis positions as well. So we can see what is happening. So this is uh, showing the area, but the gradient is actually stopping halfway through. This is because it's going from 10 to minus 5. So overall, uh, 15 is the spread but negative should be 33 percent positive should be 66 percent so to fix that all you have to do is adjust the colors you just have to move this to 66 percent and then this one as well to 66 and that kind of does it it's not exactly right because uh, it's not 66 it's 66.66 and 33.33 so you would have to tweak but uh, unfortunately the percentage stop positions are not so precise so you know you, you will have to live with a bit of g uh, gamble uh, or, or or you know you just have to put up with some sort of marginal different coloring in the between but that's uh, uh, that's the only way to get this kind of coloring in excel unfortunately area charts do not have two different color option you could uh, come up with some sort of a weird complex chart where it is two different area charts overlaid, but it's not so simple because the way this crossover happens on the axis, it is uh, not exactly at the halfway point. It will depend on what the value there and here is. And, you know, it gets too technical. So this is actually the easiest way to get that kind of an approach uh, with your area charts. I hope you found this particular tip interesting and useful. If you want to grab a copy of this file, uh, just check the video description uh, and uh, there are more tricks uh, about formatting and working with charts in the video description as well. Check them out as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.